So the atheist antidote has his panties in a bunch over uh, people being rational again. So here's the deal. Now, as far as circumcision goes, you are talking about freedom of religion and freedom of choice. Well, whose choice are you talking about? You're talking about the religious parent's choice. What about the baby's choice? When does the baby get to choose whether or not he wants his genitals mutilated? If I have the choice between having part of my penis cut off and not having part of my penis cut off, which one do you think I would choose? I'd much rather be intact, but unfortunately, because of our culture and your religious freedom, it's normal in our society to be that way. It's considered perfectly reasonable to cut off a piece of your child without consulting them as to whether they want it done, but now you're arguing freedom of choice. So I think you're arguing for the wrong person's choice. The problem as I see it is that you've got your argument completely backward. Now, there's nothing wrong with having freedom of religion, obviously. I think that people should be able to pray and worship and go to church and sing songs, and that's perfectly fine, but do it in your church and do it in your home. That's where it belongs. Obviously, I don't agree with people pushing their religion on other people. And when you are forcing your child to alter their anatomy and violating their free will and their human rights, I'm going to have an issue with that. And I see that as a dreadful illustration of religion being pushed on people uninvited. Now, I honestly don't think that if somebody were proposing that people in the United States had the freedom to lop off their daughter's labia, that you would say, okay, that's fine, it's freedom of religion, let's let them do it. Why is female genital mutilation so much worse or completely different than male genital mutilation? It's the same thing. If I want to lop off somebody's foreskin or I want to lop off somebody's labia or prick their clitoris or whatever it is that they're doing, it's really the same concept. And you're arguing that somehow mutilating a boy's genitals is completely and totally acceptable and not morally reprehensible at all, whereas I'm quite certain that if the same thing were proposed for free females, you would be all up in arms. And probably the reason for that is because that doesn't agree with your particular religious views. It's somebody else's religion. So now we've got the argument of freedom of choice and freedom of religion, both of which you are arguing against. Babies don't have a choice. You can mutilate their genitals at will, but only if it conforms to your Christian views based on the Old Testament law. So, what exactly are you arguing? 